nonetheless. So, uh, Colleen, I was interested in the biosin scanning uh, that you were doing. Um, most of it you did with one hand um, and a little with two. Um, so my question is, um, is it uh, effective if you do it just with one hand to figure out what's going on? And when you said you get intuition with your hands to stay in a place, um, do you actually, is that just a mental intuition or do you actually feel any whoosh of energy in a certain area that inspires you to stay in that area? Those are my uh, two questions. That's a, those are great questions, Joe. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's a, a great clarification. So, you know, BOs and scanning, if you read the instructions on it, it will tell you to use your non-dominant hand. However, I use both or one, depending on however I, mostly I observe what my hands are doing rather than specifically like, oh, this is how I do this. I'm, I'm observing and if both hands come in or they stop, it's notable to me. As far as the intuition style, that's a great question because it's probably one of the more confusing aspects of it for people. And I think probably also why Mrs. Takata taught the 14 hand positions, the foundation treatment rather than BOs and scanning in how she taught hand positions because of that exact question. How are you receiving your intuition? So sometimes it's a physical sensation. Sometimes I'll have like a, a definite, my hand has a sensation. It can get hot, it could be cold, it could tingle. Sometimes there's a physical response where my hand might get pushed up or pulled down. We'll call it Velcro Reiki. Like I think I'm doing one thing and all of a sudden, boom, my hands are in a, a particular spot. So more than anything, it's a combination of my intuition and also observation. So let's say I'm doing scanning and it's not a sensation at all or not even a thought, but suddenly my hand stops or gets pulled up or pushed down. That's an observation. Oh, my hand stopped, here's a spot. This is a difference. Other times, and for other people, it might be a thought and not a sensation at all, where the thought is, you know, you're going along and you think, oh, this, this quote feels different. The word feel is a very broad term thinking, oh, there's a difference here, something's here, and it's coming through strictly through a thought. You might, some people even have BOs and scanning where they can get the sensation in their own body. So for instance, they're scanning along, they get to the knees and they feel the sensation in their knee and think, oh, it's right here. Or maybe they even think, a sensation in their knee, but it's not an actual feeling like, oh, my attention is suddenly noticing my knee. So it can be all different ways of intuiting it. And, you know, we think that's actually a whole month of discussions itself that we can do too, because intuition is one of those areas that I would say is the number one question people have about how they're perceiving what's happening in their Reiki session. And when I say observation, I might be observing and my eyes are closed, but it's an observation of, oh, look what just happened. So a lot of times what can be confusing with it is because we use the word feel or, you know, oh, you intuit that. But there's the question, what is someone's specific intuition? So yeah, great question. And another thing that we have, the clear senses, another thing that we have in the free download section under a Reiki library 
a whole thing about clear senses um, for people to get just a kind of a, a summary of some of the styles of intuition people may have. And then you can dive deeper into it. I was glad to see in the second half of the video, you did sitting Reiki. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't, yes. I, I can't consistently maintain standing Reiki, you know. Yeah. I used to stand up all the time, but now I, I always sit and I always have that pillow, mm -hmm. you know, unless I, unless I'm in a place that I can't, but if I'm in control of my environment, I always have that big pillow to rest my arms on and then do the hand positions from there because I've learned that if I'm uncomfortable, uh, not that it affects how the client receives the Reiki, but it affects me as the practitioner that now I'm thinking I'm so uncomfortable. My back hurts. I need to move my arms. I need to stay. The, the energy is saying, stay here, don't move, but I'm so uncomfortable. You know, so to I avoid you. that, I stay comfortable. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty... Because Reiki does not require us to be uncomfortable for it to work. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't need that for the session. So let's say if reaching a particular location is going to make me very uncomfortable as the practitioner, I can, you know, trust that I can say, go to that spot and I don't actually have to be on that spot. So that's a great question too, um, Kim, where a lot of people expect that heat indicates how much Reiki is flowing. That can be true. I mean, I definitely can have heat that, you know, shows up and I mean, I can think about it and heat shows up and suddenly my hands are activated. Um, but my hands can also be really cold. And sometimes my hands don't have a lot of sensation. So it really can vary. Uh, a question, uh, but do you feel different when you do Bielsen, uh, when it's a distant Reiki or in person? Because I feel very different. Yeah, I would say now I, I will do when I'm doing a distance session and I have a surrogate, you know, I might let me turn their head around. <laughs> so, um, you know, I might do a distance session like this and same thing. It could be a thought. It could be a sensation. It could be, you know, a, oh, stop right there type of an idea or the same thing where it could be something like, oh, I just found myself stopping right there. And so, um, but yes, do I think it's a different sensation? I haven't really thought about it that way, but I, I agree. Yeah, it can be very different. Same with self-reiki. Like I can have, when I do BOs and scanning with self-reiki, I feel it more in my body than my hand. And a lot of times it is a thought. So like even going down, I can feel my hand getting to my jaw in my jaw, not in my hand. So it's in my body. And then sometimes it's also the same thing like, oh, and here's observation. My throat has been challenged all morning. I have a lot of people with laryngitis around me, so maybe it's psychosomatic, but I'm like, okay, get to that throat. So it can also be a thought of like, oh, when I get there, I bet there it is. And see, even as I'm talking, my voice to me changes with my hand here than when it's not there. So it's a sensation. So yeah, thank you, Andrea, because that's, I think that's a really important piece because a lot of times the same thing where it, it feels different when you are um, doing distant than when you're in person or self-reiki than when you're doing it on someone else. 